What's up? What's up? So it's Friday today, 7.15. 7.15? Oh, we, we made it on time. Did we? Yeah, we're headed to my appointment at 7.30. Um, I'm gonna get the gestational diabetes panel done. And then also gonna get my vitamin D tested. I got your vitamin D. Seven, oh my God, of course. Syphilis screening, and then what else? T dap injection. So two shots? No, I what think it it's think? just one that like covers a bunch of stuff. Oh. Just tetanus, something else that I can't pronounce with the D, and something with the P. Dick? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Yeah, so Penis. that's how I'm getting done. So I've been fasting for 12 hours which I was dreading this appointment because if I don't eat like soon enough in the morning, I usually get nauseous and vomit. And I'm surprised that I'm like feeling this okay right now. But that's only when you're pregnant. You usually don't eat. Oh yeah, exactly. That's literally only when I've been pregnant. <laughs> I feel like my biggest struggle so far or this whole time in the pregnancy is like food. If I don't eat on time, like I said, I vomit. And then I'll be like good one minute and then the next minute I'm freaking dead starving. So it's just, I don't know. And, and I'm just the, like not used to that at all. And the hardest part is what she wanna eat cause she's not a food person. Yeah, yeah. She likes to well eat, okay. She only likes to eat one thing all the fucking time and she gets tired of it and that's it. She but, don't wanna eat anymore. But the thing is, since like I'm pregnant, I'm hungry, more often i feel like my relationship with food is like not good because like i don't want anything like ever because i'm just so tired of freaking eating like all she wanted is shrimp that's all I, but i would eat shrimp before that anyway and a muffin. but that's what i'm saying that's all you want shrimp and a muffin right? muffin i've never had a or, muffin uh, not a muffin what's it called you've had a muffin a sandwich uh, or english muffin no it's oh yeah well yeah english muffin yeah i ate at 7 30 yesterday like on the dot and one hour later i was freaking thirsty and i freaking drink like a bunch of water like every single day you so i that, feel freaking parched oh my god <laughs> do you think that big meal healthy meal help? um i guess kind of i mean since it wasn't fatty or you know it wasn't weird yeah it, it didn't give me like heartburn or anything crazy the one thing though that was my second meal of the day and I didn't have any snacks. I should have uh, planned this better because for one, I slept in yesterday and two, I ate some tamales that his mom had made. For breakfast, I ate three tamales and then I just had the pasta and that was all I had yesterday. Like literally no snacks, like nothing else. So I kind of fucked up. So I don't know, I feel like I could have better prepared myself right there. So you feel good? I mean, I'm starving and I'm parched. But <laughs> Other than that, you good. <laughs> I mean, what else? Yeah, we're already here. Oh my god, the parking lot is like so empty where we're going. Oh, it's like so exposed. I usually drink at least like two of these one and a half liter bottles of water per day. So I feel like that's been like the hardest thing to like not wake up in the middle of the night and be able to like have some water, especially because like. Sometimes I get really hot at night. My first trimester, I was like really hot and like I'm not one to really sleep with the fan on. Like that's just not my thing, never you has really it. been. But like first trimester, I was freaking sleeping with the fan on like every day. And now I'm back to like needing to sleep with the fan. And it's like really empty right now. Yeah. Nobody's having babies right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. La <laughs> llorona. <laughs> you dragging it. I got on now. They got construction going on in there. She's pregnant in the back and the front. <laughs> oh my god, my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. What are you, La Llorona and Ninja Turtle? <laughs> I just drank the glucose test drink and it wasn't the worst. They had orange and fruit punch and I got fruit punch. And it kind of made me feel a little bit nauseous but we walked around like a little bit and I feel okay. Hopefully 
I don't vomit because it says if you vomit, you freaking have to like redo the whole thing over, which makes sense. But and it says now that I actually have like two to three sips of water if I feel discomfort, so that's nice. Just take a big sip. <laughs> big old sips. You need some water base? No, I already used up one sip and I still got like I don't know how long. Babe, you didn't drink any. You gonna say it must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. I'm just kidding. I wasn't gonna say it. But you always say that. Mm -hmm. I already used up one of my sips of water, so I'm down to two. What time is it? 8.48. Ooh. So I got four minutes, so I... Where's my little paper? Till I get my next one drawn. Here's my little card. 8.52. Is it me? So here's a hospital where I'm gonna be delivering. Hopefully we we'll make it. I know, right? I don't wanna jinx anything. They just made this building right here. Off to the right. What is it? Birth center. It's a birth center. And if you wanna have like um like very, very natural minimal intervention kind of well, thing. Do anything medical, anything medical they gotta go over here. I didn't know that. You couldn't have it in the bathtub at the hospital said it's against hospital policy because when we came for the hospital tour on Monday she said that I didn't know I thought they had bathtubs in the rooms for that reason but now I know they actually just like opened it when did you say on Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving was the first day oh look there's the hospital from this side looks cool this is all the like rooms that mom and baby stay in and then I guess it's like four whole wings. Um, so yeah, let me tell you guys about my appointment. My diabetes panel went pretty freaking good. Like a lot better than I expected. I literally thought I was gonna vomit. I was like, if I don't eat as soon as I wake up, I know I'm gonna vomit. I had like a regular prenatal checkup appointment and she ordered an ultrasound or like sent me to the ultrasound. After she measured my belly, she just said she wanted me to have an ultrasound just to make sure everything was good because I guess baby was kind of growing a little bit on the faster rate. She said she was in the 65%. I don't even understand what that means, honestly. I know people are always like, oh, my kid's in the so-and-so percent. I don't know, don't know what that means. So whatever that means, she's in 65%. So after the ultrasound, they did give us a little, um, I think like the ultrasound lady said, no, just a week ahead. Yeah, she said you can see the nose and the mouth right there. Um, That's definitely it. Smurf nose. Smurf nose. Papa Smurf to daddy, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, and then I got the Tdap injection, and that was it pretty much. It's actually 11 o'clock right now, so 7:30, 8:30, 9:30, 10:30. We we're there for three and a half hours. Finally gonna eat. We're gonna go have some tortas. Hopefully the Mexican spot is open. You said it is, right? Oh yeah, we did come to a after baby comes, what do they call it, like childbirth, childcare class here at the hospital, like last week or something, and he actually won the, what was it, like swaddle little contest thingy, it wasn't like a huge contest, it was just like a little fun activity, I guess. That just means I was born to be that. <laughs> and he, he won an extra toothbrush. Baby toothbrush. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby toothbrush, my bad. Everybody got a little baby toothbrush like when we walked in. And so she was like, whoever won can get an extra toothbrush. And him and another guy tied. It was like 30 dads. Yeah, it was a swaddle. Competition. Yeah, whoever could swaddle the baby the quickest. Dads, swaddle yeah, competition. only dads. That's to be swaddle competition. And moms couldn't help or nothing, so. And it didn't have to be perfect. It was just who was the quickest. Our Get set, go. <laughs> Ooh, we 
towel. Blue sweatshirt is right here with the towel. You get a second toothbrush. You are allowed on our next break to grab an extra toothbrush. Good job. Would you recommend those little class thingies? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Since, uh, to us, since we're like first parents, we don't, we're not around kids a lot. We're literally never around yeah. kids. Like, no one we know has a kid. I mean, I've never changed a diaper. Yeah, I mean, I have because my little brother, but like, I used to take care of him whenever my mom had to go back to work. If you're a first time parent, or just if you want to get more information, if you want to be a parent, you don't have to be having a baby to go. You do have to pay. But it's not much. Yeah, and very, for very me it was like 100% worth the money. And it's per couple, like, or, yeah. or you don't have to be a couple, just two people, right? Yeah, he made a really good point whenever we got home that day. He was like, would you take it again as like a second time parent or just like, you know, would you ever take it again? And at first I was like, no, I don't think so. I asked him back, I was like, would you? And he said, yeah, because things change. And I was like, you know what, yeah. One of the things I did ever since I found out I was pregnant was look up like recommendations of things on YouTube. And a lot of the things that people on YouTube use and highly recommend, she actually brought up saying that like studies had recommended that they were like not safe for babies, like recent studies. So that was really helpful because some of the things I was actually gonna buy, honestly. And Scientific now I'm, studies, not just studies, scientifically yeah. proven that is not good for your baby or that it causes harm or or something or something so so that was really that was just like one helpful thing but overall the whole thing it was so informative and like the lady teaching was super like personable she was fun and overall graphic, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i feel like it would be a good refresher as well if it's been a while or like he said you know things change and um they do studies on new things every day not every day, but you know, um, a lot often. If we can, I really do want to take um, a preparation for delivery and another one called Lamas, I think. And that one's supposed to like help you with like natural delivery, which I'm hoping I can do. Um, you know, you plan for one thing and sometimes it just doesn't happen. So Never know. I'm hoping for a natural delivery if possible. And if not, then as long as me and baby are both healthy in the end i guess it's all that really matters so what about me <laughs> what if i pass out <laughs> well i guess hope the whole family is healthy i think it was a five hour class it was so informative like he said she went over car seats she went over postpartum depression just a lot of stuff just a lot a lot of stuff and if you guys are like he said first time parents or even you're not and you want to find one of those classes i know there's like places that offer them that aren't hospitals um we actually found out that those classes existed by going on to the website so the doctor actually never once mentioned she didn't even recommend the classes so if your doctor didn't recommend classes maybe just like look on the website for your hospital or your doctor's office because we wouldn't have known yeah and honestly i'm not trying to like promote this hospital or anything um but they do online classes here if you can't find them on the website it's like womens.org they offer online classes if you're wanting to find some i feel really lucky that the hospital is really close to us and that they offer so many things everybody's just like really nice there and i know like that's their job to be nice i haven't encountered anybody that's been like rude i, I guess what makes it more even nicer too that you know regular hospital you got people emergency room coming in now hurt whatever so it's more crazy mm -hmm. this one is technically just pregnancies yeah it is really just for women that's another thing that hospital is literally just like women's like stuff they just opened a cancer center they did that birthing center and so everything about that hospital is like for women to women i feel better just knowing that that's all they like focus on they also have a pregnant like people emergency room which i've gone to i went to one time in october I'm not trying to sell you guys on the hospital but i just feel lucky like i said that it's right here close to us so it's a lot later in the day it's 6 53 now i took a really long nap and i feel great i just wanted to like update you guys i guess give you guys a little baby update kind of thing because some of you guys have been asking like to see my belly and like updates and stuff like that and i just but i didn't know if like people cared i don't know i just didn't know if 
I should share it with you guys. But I guess like, even if people don't care, like it's nice for me to go back and look at later on, maybe a couple years from now. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little update right now. So during my regular prenatal checkup, I was just supposed to get a checkup, um, just like measure the belly, you know, weight and all that stuff. And she said that there was like a big like jump in like belly growth. I'm gonna check what it was the last time. My last appointment was January the 15th and my belly measured 25 centimeters then. And today's appointment, it measured 31 centimeters. So apparently your belly's supposed to be like two centimeters above or two centimeters under your like week count. So I'm 28 weeks and four days today. So let's just say 28 weeks, 28, 29, 30. So I guess I should be around 30 or 26. And I'm sure it's not like, you know, to a T. I'm sure it's like, okay, if you're above or below. Um, but I guess since the last time I was like spot on and now it was like over, she just wanted to know like what was going on. So she scheduled me an ultrasound and then she called me back up there saying that everything looked good that there was nothing to be concerned about and she wasn't like abnormally large the memory card on my camera is full so i'm just gonna finish talking to you guys on my phone i think i was telling you guys oh about the clothing um yeah i didn't know that newborns didn't always fit in newborn like clothing i had no idea and so when a friend of mine told me that i was like okay then maybe i shouldn't buy newborn because i hadn't bought anything in newborn sizes to begin with but now I'm just like, okay, maybe I should just hold off and like, maybe when the day is closer, I'll just buy a couple of things. And if they fit her, then just buy her more at the time because I don't want to be left with clothes that's just not going to fit her. Ever since my 20 week ultrasound, they told me that she has really long legs and she has a big foot. So they told us the same thing this time. Everything I wanted to tell you guys is on my phone. So I just wrote a couple of things here on this little note so I don't forget what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, the first time I felt her move was December 10th and it was exactly like the day that I turned 20 weeks. It happened that day at night though, like late at night and she moved for a while. It wasn't just like one and then done. It was like she was moving for a while and she literally has not stopped ever since. Like she's been having a party in there. Like literally every single day she's freaking active and it's usually around 10 in the morning and then at night that I notice like for sure that she's really active. But like throughout the day, like I'll notice here and there. But if I'm not like really paying attention, like it'll just be like, you know, movement because I'm kind of used to it at this point. Whenever we were about to get the ultrasound, she was moving a lot. So we went into the ultrasound room and she was like, whoa, she's really active. And I'm like, yep, she was going crazy in there. So I gained three pounds since my visit in January. Okay, so I just checked the cameras in Octavio's home. Her heart rate has been like at 140. I think the highest it's ever been is 145. Today it was 139 whenever she did it with the Doppler. And then when we went to the ultrasound, it was exactly at 140, which is like most of the ultrasounds I've had, it's been exactly at 140. She said that's normal. So um, I wish I remembered what the ultrasound tech had said that like she weighed because Octavio says he swears that he heard three point something but i thought i heard two point something so i'm not sure what it is i wish i remembered all i remember is she said that she's measuring a week over and she looks healthy the heart was beating good and everything else looked good <laughs>